Morning. This is Arnie Waters here in Boston. What day are you going to be happy if you're not going to be happy today? Uh, looking out at markets, we see gold trading around uh, 1582.83. We indicated to you earlier in the week we see gold heading around 1550. Uh, and uh, the reasons for this are simple. The euro is collapsing. A lot of gold trade is done in the euro. And so what we expect to see is gold continuing to show weakness. This is only a temporary situation, a temporary interruption in the secular bull market in gold. Gold is going to reach $1,900 to $2,000 by the end of the year. There's way too much stuff wrong for that not to be true. And the number of things wrong is increasing every day. Uh, the Spaniards are stepping in to put 7 to 10 billion euros into their banking system, into Bankia, I believe. Uh, but the reality is that uh, the European Central Bank is beginning to look like Lehman Brothers did before it collapsed. In other words, its balance sheet is a mess, and uh, the, this is caused by their desire to throw money at their problems instead of working to figure out how to make their economies grow effectively. So, uh, the legendary commentator, uh, uh, I can't say his first name, that's right, Satyat Das, who we highlighted his views before, uh, made this comment in the last 24 hours about the similarity between the balance sheet of the European Central Bank and the uh, uh, Lehman Brothers prior to its collapse. Secondly, uh, the, the Bundesbank or Bundy, has announced that it is willing to accept a certain amount of inflation. This is a huge change, a huge change, and one reflective of the reality of how much liquidity is awash throughout the world. And so this philosophical change has an opportunity to be reviewed by the voters in Germany on Sunday. Uh, uh, and in uh, Nord-Rhineland-Westphalia, there is an election, a by-election, where we will see a referendum on the policies of uh, uh, Frau Merkel. And uh, we are not certain whether the voters in Germany are going to like her policies. So any diminution in her parliamentary strength, of course, uh, may uh, throw away the whole hundred pennings of whatever they're calling their uh, rescue system today. So we're encouraging our clients, to, if anything, to be uh, short gold in the next week or 10 days. But we are expecting this to be not really a trading opportunity. We think there are a lot of external factors that are causing this situation, and a number of those factors will be improved. But many of them, like the Spanish banking situation, we've only begun to uncover. What day are you going to be happy if you're not going to be happy today? This is Arnie Waters in Boston.